So in this video, we are going to learn how to post Discord channel messages with new webhook response. So this is going to be a very interesting video guys. And in this video, we will figure out how you can use webhook URL to connect any other application with Discord using Pavli Connect. So here guys, we will see that whenever you add a webhook URL in any application which supports webhook for a particular event, on happening of that event, you will get a webhook response. And then you can actually send or automated message on your Discord channel for that particular webhook response. Let's take an example of online form building application like Jotform. If you have connected your Jotform account with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL, then every time you will receive a new form submission in Jotform, you can set up an automation and share that same response on your Discord channel. So here guys, I just took an example of Jotform or any other online form building application. But instead of this, you can add this webhook URL in any application of your choice and collect the response and receive automated message on your Discord channel. So how you can set up this automation and how you can get Discord channel messages automatically on webhook response. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as webhooks for discord. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So here guys, let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is we are going to use this webhook feature of Pavli Connect to get a webhook URL. Then after getting that webhook URL, you can actually add that webhook URL in any application you want. And then we are going to set up this automation in such a way that whenever that webhook URL captures the response, a message will be sent on our Discord channel containing the same response we have received from webhook. Now to begin with, here in trigger window, in choose app, select webhooks. After selecting webhook by Pavli, here you can see that Pavli Kinnick gave us this webhook URL. As I told you, you can actually add this webhook URL in any application of your choice. In this video, I'm just going to take an example of Jotform. So we have created the simple form using Jotform where we are going to add the webhook URL to capture the response. But as I told you, not just any form building application, you can add that webhook URL anywhere on the internet in any application which supports webhook responses. So here let's add the webhook URL over here. We have this contact form. Let's go to settings, integrations, and here in Jotform, we have this webhook option over here, select webhooks. Now here we have to paste the webhook URL. So just copy the webhook URL given by Pavli Connect and paste it in the application from which you want to receive the response. Here we have pasted it and click on complete integration. And that is it guys. You can see we have successfully added this webhook URL in short form. Now instead of this guys, you can actually paste the webhook URL in your browser link and create a test response over there as well. But right now we are just taking an example of short form. Now, every time we are going to receive a new form submission in short form, the same details will be captured inside Pavli Connect workflow over here as well. So let's do this. We are just going to publish the form and then we are going to create a test response. So let's enter the username, for example, demo user. This is the name. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number. Select the gender and click on submit. So just now we have received a new form submission in Jotform and because we have added the webhook URL over here, we will see in Pavli Connects this webhook by Pavli feature, here just now we have received the same form submission response. So here in response received, you can see that we have added this webhook URL in Jotform and on Jotform form submission, we have received the same response. Here you can see the same response, first name, last name, email address, mobile number and the same gender. This means guys, using this webhook URL, whenever you will get some data from any application on the internet, the same data, the same response can be seen over here in your Pavli Connect workflow. So in this way, you can get this webhook URL and capture the response. Now what we have to do, the response which we are getting from this webhook URL, we want to share that response as a message on our Discord channel. 
so here the response which we get to share this on our discord channel what we have to do we just have to scroll down and come to our action window over here and here in choose app search for discord just select it and then in action event from the drop down select the action event as send channel message html click on connect now here guys after clicking on connect here you can see that the first thing it asks us the discord action step asks us is the webhook url now here guys what we have to do in this section we have to basically enter a webhook url given by discord so first we have to create a webhook url in our discord server and after that we have to basically add that webhook url copy that webhook url from discord server and add it over here in this webhook url field and that webhook url will tell this public and action window on which of our discord channel we want to send the message so here you must be thinking how you can create a webhook url in discord so just go to your discord server and from the left side you can here you can see this down arrow just click on it and go to server settings after coming to the server settings page go to integration section and then just go to webhooks after coming to this webhook section click on new webhook and here you can see just now a new webhook url is created by discord let's give this webhook url name for example public connect this is the name of the url and here guys we have to select the channel that using this webhook url which of our discord channel on our server we want to send the message in the drop down you can see a list of all the channels which we have created general technical updates and webhook setup so using this webhook url guys i want to send the messages on this webhook setup channel so select the channel from the drop down on which you want to send the message and then click on save changes so as we click on save changes this webhook url is created in our discord server just click on this copy webhook url button go back to public connect and paste it over here so in this way using this webhook url we will send a message on our discord channel after this it is asking us message that whenever we are going to capture some response using this webhook url in trigger what message we want to send on our discord channel so here guys what we have to do we just have to create a message over here so i want my message to be for example hello team okay so this is kind of a simple message which i am using in this video instead of this guys you can basically create any message you want so this message says hello team we have received a new form response because we have received some response from jot form i have created this message but instead of this you can add any kind of application any kind of message of your choice and in this message i am sharing some responses which i have received using this webhook url so from this webhook response here you can see that we have received the name of the user email address phone number and the gender so we want to share the same response which we have received from webhook over here on our discord channel as a message so one by one we have to basically map the same response in the message field so let's start so here in this message in front of name i wanted to mention the name of the person which i have received from webhook response so just click here and in the drop down below here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from webhook out of all of these responses select this response of first name and it will be mapped over here add a space follow the same process from the drop down map the response of last name so in this way whatever first name and last name response we are going to get from webhook basically from jot form submission then automatically with the same details a message will be sent on our discord channel after name let's map the email address just click on this field and then from the drop down select the response of email then just click here in front of mobile number and select and map the mobile number and at last gender so here guys right now we have just mapped the responses of the form but basically instead of these responses all the responses which you have received from webhook response from webhook url you can basically map all of these details all of these responses over here now after basically creating any message of your choice and mapping all the required data the next thing it asks us is the bot name that using a bot we are going to send these messages on our discord channel this is our discord channel and using a bot we are going to send the message but what will be the name of the bot who is going to post the message you can change that name as well for example i would like to keep the bot name as pavli so this is the name of the bot instead of this you can use any bot name of your choice then it is asking us bot icon so we also have an option to change the bot icons 
So the bot which is going to share the message will be named as Fably, but you have an option to change the icon, the logo of the bot as well. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the image which you want to set up as the bot icon. Right now in this video, I'm not adding any kind of image link, so it will be a default image. And at last, it is asking us text to speech. So I don't want to enable text to speech option. So I'm selecting disable over here. And after this, just click on save and send test request. Now here guys, when we click on save and send test request, you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here with the, all the mapped details which we have received from webhook response in our trigger window, the same message is being sent on our Discord channel. So we will go to Discord. And yes, guys, here you can see that just now a bot named Pabli has shared a message on our Discord channel, the same channel for which we have created the webhook URL in Discord. The message says, hello team, we have received a new form response. Name, demo user, same email address, same mobile number, and same gender. The same details of form submission, which we have captured using the webhook URL in Pabli Connect workflow, the same webhook response is being shared on our Discord channel in the same way which we have created a message over here. Now this means guys, here you can see that using this automation, you can actually send Discord channel messages every time you receive a response or every time you capture a response using this webhook URL. And you can add this webhook URL anywhere you want. So here guys, you can see that we have actually created this workflow. Now let's test this. Because we have added this webhook URL in short form, we are going to make another form submission over here. So just refresh it and let's enter the details. For example, test user. Let's enter the email address as well. This is the mobile number. And then let's select the gender as female. Click on submit. So just now we have received another form submission using jot form. And because we have added the webhook URL in jot form, we will see this webhook URL will capture the response and instantly within seconds, a Discord channel message is been sent with the same details, with the same response, which we have captured using webhook URL. So you can actually go to the history section of this workflow. And here in this history section, you can see that the same details, which we have entered in form submission is received by this webhook URL. So here you can see the same details, same name, same email, same mobile number, and the same gender. So, so the same response is captured by webhook and a Discord channel message is being sent with the same response, the same webhook response. So this means guys, the automation workflow, which we have created using this webhook URL for Discord inside Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. You can actually capture some response using this webhook by Pavli feature and then automatically a Discord channel message will be sent with the same webhook responses immediately. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and start using this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestions, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.